said it from time to time. Shut up. Just shut up. Helen. First Peter 2 5 says, We were built up. You also as living snow, we were built up. Y'all see that? To be a spiritual house. We were built up to be a set apart priesthood. For what reason, Peter? To offer up spiritual offerings, slaughter offerings acceptable to Elohim through Yahshua the Messiah. Spiritual offerings. How many of us in here are offering up spiritual offerings? What is that, brother Isaac? Sing praises. Cry out hallelujah. Those are offerings that you're giving up from the fruit of your lips. You're letting the Father know out of your mouth how you feel about Him. What you think about Him. How you want to praise Him for all of the wonderful things He's done for you. You just got to praise Him. So you want to give yourself as an offering. Somebody ought to say, I present my body as a living sacrifice. Paul that's acceptable unto Him, which is my reasonable service. Mm. That was good food right there. Somebody got somebody eat? I'm serving you right now. That's good food. See, we, we, got to, we got to be giving him an offering made by fire. See, well, how can I, man, ask me, how can you give an offering made by fire? Because I have the ruach. Hakodesh on the inside of me which represents my father who is a consuming fire so if I got him in me then he is a fire in me and every time I get a chance I'm going to explode and burn so somebody else can see the light remember what I told y'all in the study when you, whenever you hear him saying, see the light, see the light, he's talking about a fire because we ain't talking about no lights like this. See, we got to come out of the Western civilization that we're in, put ourselves into the scriptural doctrine that we're hearing and being preached to, and understand when he said light, he's talking about a torch, he's talking about a fire. Yes. So if you got a fire in you, you ought to let it be seen sometime. Because if I lit a fire right where you're sitting there right now, I guarantee you won't stay sitting there long. <laughs> I'll use Brother Blackwell term for you. You'll move quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> Praise Almighty. Yeah, isn't my, isn't my father good? I heard Sister Sean sing a song one time, He's a Fire in Me. Didn't you sing that? Somebody sung that. Whatever. <laughs> BJ and y'all mess them up all the time. <laughs> I just keep on trying. But we need that fire to get started in us by receiving his spirit in us. Yes. Come on, now it's time for these houses to stop being empty, to stop being used. It's time for these bodies to embody the fire of Almighty Yah. And once you get that fire in you, you can't sit still. You can't just don't be doing nothing. You got to praise him when nobody else is praising him. You got to shout when nobody else is shouting. You got to jump when nobody else don't want to jump. You going to preach when nobody want to preach. You going to sing it when music going out of it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When that fire comes. I heard him say to the prophet, if I put a fire in your bosom, will, will a man move? <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> you know, we, we, we love that Psalm 100, verse 3. It says, know that Yah, He is Elohim. He has made us. We are His. And we are his people yes. and the sheep of his pasture. Of his pasture. Right. He made us to become sheep uh -huh. in his pasture. Hallelujah. That's why he said this morning through Minister Johnson, I have other sheep that are not of this fold. Isn't that right? Yeah. See how they're tying up together? Yeah. You see, because he got sheep out there that we don't even know is the sheep. Because we're so busy looking at goat and calling them sheep until we don't even recognize a sheep when we see a sheep. 
Because we've been playing with goats for so long, we think I'm going as a sheep. Talk to me, somebody. You know, because right up in this congregation here, you think everything in here is a sheep? Now, you notice I didn't look at nobody in particular. Because they'll say, he talking about me. <laughs> but we all should take it personally when the Father is speaking. Because he wants you to go home and get in that mirror and say, was he talking about me? Everybody should feel guilty until you're proven innocent. Hallelujah. See, the, 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 the state, the United States said everybody is, is innocent until proven guilty. But no, no, you're guilty until you're proven innocent. So we need to be having some witnesses who's going to prove your innocency. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when people talk about me, I don't worry about it because I got a witness that's telling me whether I'm guilty or innocent. So if you say something about me, like that man came after David throwing rocks and throwing dust at him and, and cursing David and all that. David's soldier said, you want me to go and cut that dead dog's head off? David said, no, leave him alone. Because I'm about to, yeah, got him out here doing that. Leave him alone. What is he doing? He's telling the truth on me. He's telling you what kind of man I was. So if you want to talk about him, let him talk. And that's the way we ought to feel about it. Uh, because I'm going to tell you something. Every time you defend self, you still got too much of it. You know what I'm talking too much of what? Yeah, too much of self. Thank you. Everybody understand that? Yeah. If you're trying to defend self, you still got too much of it. So see, people talk about me all the time. You know what I do? Shut up. Talk. Some stuff you might be saying might be true. But that's between me and y'all. Right. And since I didn't got over it, oh, yeah. you need to get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's true. Because he told us in Luke chapter 11, he told us in Matthew 15, he told us when you pray. When you pray. Uh -huh. And then when he got down to that point where he said, and forgive us yeah. our debts. As we forgive those who have sinned against us. So if you have forgiven whoever it is, you got unforgiveness in your heart. But he will not forgive you if you don't forgive others. Now you might want to stand before him with that unforgiveness in your heart. But I don't want none in me. See, I forgave the white man because I thought the white man was beating me up. I forgave the goose the Vietnamese because they didn't know just like I didn't know all they told us was go kill each other all we did was try to survive yeah I forgave all the people that stabbed me in the back kicked me in the butt stole from me misused me and abused me I just went to the father crying and said I forgive them all that's right now I didn't ask them to forgive me that's up to them I just wanted to get my heart clean you understand? Because if your heart is full of something, it ain't going to be able to receive anything. So I got to clean my heart out. Get that junk out of my mind. And that's why I don't want nobody to come to me talking about race. Because the race I belong to is just one. And it's called the human race. Hallelujah. But mankind taught us to be stupid. Yeah. Tell them about the black race and the white race. Shut your mouth. All of us is a kaleidoscope of color. All of us, just like the rays of the sun. We all a kaleidoscope of color. We just got all kind of color, but I guarantee you one thing, all of us bleed red blood. Right. All of us go to the bathroom the same way. All of our eyes in the same position. Our nose in the same position. Everything is just like, why? Because we came from one mold called man. Now, if anybody teach you anything more ignorant, you can follow it if you want. That's right. But the Father created all men from the same mold. We just came out a little different in different ways. Our environment made some changes in our lives. 
Now, if you want to be hateful and become prejudiced and all of that, I want you to remember the scripture. To have respect of persons is sin. Is sin. Right. Praise y'all somebody. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 12, verse number 2 says, Psalms 12, verse number 2 says, they speak falsehood with each other. You know, people just got to have it lying to one another, brother Ronnie. Just get each other face and just lie. Well, I did this and I did that. You didn't do none of that. You're trying to be like Brother Rodney. Let Brother Rodney know you ain't better than me. I got to lie to keep up with you, but I'm, I'm, I'm up there. You know, you're going to hell because the Bible, the scripture says all liars. If you want to read that, it's in Revelation 21 8. All liars go into the lake. My little grandson used to say, go into the campfire. <laughs> you didn't want to go to that campfire. You don't see that? Lie with each other. It didn't say to each other, did it? With each other. They're sharing lies. Swapping lies. You know, old men got a habit of doing that. That's Brother Ross, isn't that right? <laughs> Brother Ross, you call me old. <laughs> Praise God. So we don't need to swap lies. Matter of fact, I don't even want to talk about what I used to do. Because the scripture says I ought to be ashamed of that. Yes. Isn't that right? Yes. What I did in the dark, leave it in there. Yes. Praise Almighty Yah. Yes. And then he says in verse number three, Almighty Yah does cut off all flattering lips and a tongue that speaks swelling words. You know, people just speak things to make you feel bad, big and bad about yourself. Oh, brother, I said, you know that word. You don't have to say that because you ain't convincing me. Because I'm going to tell you where I am. I don't know anything as I ought to. Not anything. What little I do know, he gave me that. So Isaac is still ignorant. This is the new man. Renewed from the old man. And everything the old man thought he knew, this man forgot it. And don't want it to be rehashed in his mind. I don't want to go there in my thoughts. I don't want to go there with pictures. I don't want to go there with anything. I'm going to let the dead stay dead. Yeah. Ooh, help me, Father. Yeah. Who have said with our tongue, who have said with our tongue, we do mightily. Our lips are our own. Who is the master over me? No, but you know, we say it with our own mouth. Ain't nobody got nothing to tell me what to do. I'm grown. I know y'all ain't never heard that before. I had people in this congregation tell me that. I'm grown. I'm a man. Really? Well, I got news for you. You got some old fools. There you go. There you go. That's the worst kind. You know what the other kind is? He who deceives himself. Oh, we, we, we do that. You know, we think we know. And you know. You think you're doing, but you're not. And you think you're going to the kingdom. Well, but you better make sure. Who is master over us? Who, who is our master? See, but if you possess yourself, you're your own master. You move the way you want to move.